some of the common side effects uh, of the procedure are urinary incontinence, so the leakage of urine. Um, that's pretty normal after the procedure. And depending on the patient, patient age, after a robotic prostatectomy, you may have a few weeks up to a few months of leakage, okay, where you will have to wear a pad or sometimes, very rarely, a, a diaper. And that's pretty typical. But after a few weeks to a few months, that typically goes away. And what I tell patients frequently or, uh, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis is that you will kind of um, develop this, what I call a female bladder. Women your age who've had children who laugh, cough, or sneeze, or might lift something heavy, might you know, spot their underwear, but won't wet their pants. And that's kind of this spotting or this new bladder that you will uh, have essentially for the rest of your life. So it's typically not leakage peeing all over yourself. It's typically, you know, you might laugh or reach for something quickly and all of a sudden, you know, feel a little drop of urine where you might spot your underwear. But as far as complete leakage or complete incontinence, that's rarely seen, you know, with robotic surgery today. And I'm sure many of you have experienced that and can address that. Also, what you had, uh, uh, talked about is, you know, the sexual dysfunction. Depending on the type of surgery that you had, when we do the surgery, is there's a decision tree on whether to resect your nerves, to remove the nerves, and there's, these are the cavernous nerves that control your erection. The nerves basically run alongside the prostate, and when you remove the prostate, if you're a candidate for nerve sparing operation, what we'll typically do is peel away those nerves so that we can leave the nerves intact so that you can have restoration of erectile function. Okay, because we are moving nerves and, and moving them away, it takes um, some time to, for, that, for the erections to come back. It doesn't come back right away. Um, typically, it'll take six to 18 months to see erectile function. Typically, what we'll do and what we have is a very active program. We have a penile rehabilitation program where we have a nurse who many of you have seen before who will work with you to restore your function, okay? And it's a similar analogy to if you were to have knee surgery, if we were to operate on your knee, you would go for rehab. You would go do exercises, you would go lift weights to restore the function of your knee, the mobility, the flexibility. The same concepts apply with, with, with uh, erectile function. We, we have a penile rehabilitation program where we'll use a lot of medical therapy, the Viagra, the Cialis, even a penile pump, and use that to stimulate blood flow to the penis to that, so that we can restore your function. And that's um, what the goal is, is when we do a nerve sparing, is to get you close to where you were before, with or without you know, treatments, typically Viagra or Cialis. And that is, it's, it's a process, it's, it's, a, it's one of the hardest parts of this operation that you'll face, is the uncertainty of will I be able to re perform again and what my performance level will be. It's frustrating and it, it takes time. And you just have to be patient with yourself. You have to have a supportive partner, obviously, with this. But, you know, if we are able to spare the nerves, typically we will see erectile function return. Mm -hmm.